are February 2020. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hello, Cancer. Welcome. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to the tribe, there we go. Al, what's good, fam bams? Um, I am Marv. I'm going to be delivering you the word. Let's find out what happened this week. Um, and we will go from there. Um, I'm going to do this for all of the videos. So I'm just going to tell you right now. Cancer, I know that you guys are used to buying extensions for me. Expect extended videos or extensions, especially um, my Marvelous Tribe. But as we get visitors in the Marvelous House, we do get people who are catching the videos and if they resonate of course we want them to get the teachings and the good word just like the rest of you guys um and what is ending up happening i'm noticing and this is definitely because of mercury and retrograde so i want us all to take a deep breath including myself but i am being inundated with videos with videos with emails see mercury retrograde um talking about these extensions so i wanted to go on and give myself just a little rant on at the top of every video so you guys understand now there are two ways to purchase a video if you purchase the digital download you can go on to my website www.marvelousmadam.com and go into the hit the shop marvelous co um tab yes that is my brand where i sell things under you guys will see that I haven't been speaking about it because this is not the channel for that. We will talk more about the brand name on channel two. However, yes, you can find them under there, Shop Marvelous Co. That's where you will find the digital downloads to add. I've uploaded the ones from last week, and I am slowly adding the ones from the 16th to the 22nd. If you would prefer a digital download, keep in mind that the price is the same your purchase in your email confirmation from PayPal or however you choose to pay because there are multiple payment methods when you do the digital download. Now, understand that if you decide to do that, I don't know anything about your internet connection. I don't know where your downloads go. Keep in mind, when you download something, it's going to go, it should default. But if you're not tech savvy, I don't suggest that way because I won't be able to help you. Now, the one that I prefer is the one that you, that, that we, that I, the one that I prefer, the method, is you go on to extended and bonus readings for the corresponding month. This will be February. And you click in there and you scroll down. The most recent extensions will be right underneath the bonus videos for the month. And you will see your corresponding zodiac sign, 16th through the 31st, well labeled. Hit the purchase button. When you purchase it, check your spam folder or your regular email that is associated with PayPal. I'm going to add more payment methods, but right now you can only buy the extensions with PayPal. So PayPal will send you a confirmation of the purchase. My platform will send you a payment confirmation that I that I that I created that lets you know everything that you need to know and it gives you a password. Go to the video if the link doesn't work, if it doesn't redirect you. Go click on that video back on the website and that box that pops up, slap that um, password in and you have unlimited access to that video. Simple as that. I think it's very, very simple and that's the way we're doing it. So thank you for that four minutes of your time. I appreciate your support. Let's get started. Now, if you can survive that, then you're going to love this read. And Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you have been collectively watching videos on YouTube, I know I'm not your only favorite, but I'm close. I know that you have collectively been seeing video titles um, because as a content creator, some of you guys think that it's corny. And yes, I'm talking to my Cancer Nation. I'm a Cancer Sun. Some of you guys believe very much so, and you should, but... I do get some skeptics who feel like all readers say the same stuff. I'm not, I don't know anybody personally in the YouTube uh, content creator community. I am friendly to everybody and you never hear me say this. You never hear me say anything like this, so listen up. I am not lying to you when I tell you that I've scrolled through a couple of videos and saw that there were these beautiful titles. 
If your reader that you watch besides me is tapped in, then that's how you know. For those of you who think that it's corny, all of these readers are saying the same thing. If they're tapped in, the energy should be the same because we are all picking up the same energy or a few of us. You, you have to look at it like this. You heard the whole, the, you, have you ever heard the old saying that everybody can't be lying? If you heard it more than once, then it must be the truth. The same applies here. The energy shifted. I tell you guys all the time, you know that energy shifts. Now, Cancer, I'm not talking to you um, because you guys, if you've been with me, you know how we roll. And But I feel like my our new house members, the people that are coming to the Marvelous House, you know, maybe they're a little skeptical. So this is for everyone who has trouble with that. Um, I um, attract, and I'm very blessed, I attract an enlightened crowd. I said all of that to say, this is a beautiful reading. Your energy is changing. Peak of the past indicates that, yes, it was a struggle. This is the Seven of Wands energy. This normally is an energy of staying in warrior's pose, um, not budging, not, not moving from your position. Yes, it was a struggle in the peak of the past. You guys had two different ways of looking at things. If you look at that wand right there, you see that you both have your hands on it, and it's a tug of war. And I'm going to tell you why. You want to know why? The person that you're connecting with has been hurt. Cancers, this, we know the name of this story, right? The person that you're connecting with has been hurt. And unfortunately, yes, you are paying for everything that their ex did. You were paying for everything that their ex did. And um, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, Cancerians, uh, some part of all of us um, is, is doing the exact same thing. Some part of all of us does penalize the new person. And even if you're saying, I'm never going to do this again because I did this with the ex, that's still a penalty because the new person didn't do it, right? So you're conditioning yourself not to feel that type of pain. And yes, it is a coping mechanism, Cancerians, but um, your person definitely um, needs to release the energy of the ex. And I feel like with your peak of the past, I always try to quote the timelines. And every one of the top five has been a little bit different. And if you don't know and you're new with me, typically the top five of the week get extended automatically. And that's video. And cancer, you are my fifth. So, yes, you will be extended. Um, that's for those of you guys that are new and don't know how it goes. If you want to know the schedule beyond the top five, check the description box. Okay, it changes from week to week. So, this person definitely has been conditioned and has molded themselves in the way for minimal hurt like we normally do. And they need to release the energy of the ex. Uh, a part of me feels like you do too. But Cancer, knowing your nature, um, uh, you will be a little bit hopeful. And you will give a person that you connect with a chance quicker than the person that you have connected with. They, I, and honestly, I feel like it's water. You have a lot of, you're connected with a fellow water sign. I know that. But it doesn't necessarily mean that even if they are Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, that's their sun sign. What about their moon? What it, what what is their moon and Venus? That's going to determine it. For this particular group of Cancerians, I do feel like you probably are connecting with um, a fellow water sign. But I don't feel like you guys have the same moon. Therefore, you have different natures, okay? So the energy of the X is here. Um, they don't want to let you know that. Um, they are going to be opening up to you um, and telling you why. But let's get going. So I also feel like it's taken a great deal of strength now. You guys have been back and forth for a while. And I'm feeling, especially with the strength card, um, which is also the Ace of Wands, um, you renewed your commitment mentally. Um, well, this is a mental sign. This is more action. So... I honestly feel like this is the person, the person's energy that you're connecting with in the, the cross watchers energy. So I feel like maybe they have a fire moon or they have a fire Mars. Okay. Um, they could have a fire Venus, but that get that's subjective because fire Venuses um, are probably not. Well, I guess it's possible. But it would really depend on what the moon is. They would have to be double water. 
don't get me started. Okay, so with that being said, I feel like this person could possibly have a fiery Mars, but this is the Ace of Wands. Um, so somewhere in the last six months, there were a renew there was a renewal, a, a an action, a renewal in action to keep you guys connected. Okay. But I feel like this has been going on. So when I say been going on, it's been revolving. It's continued to, to evolve. It's continued to keep going. So I feel like maybe in a year and a half, you guys pick your side, you, you, you pick your own timeline, six, 12 or 18 months, year and a half. Okay. Um, anywhere in that time frame, um, there's been several renewals, um, but your person is now committed, whichever renewal, um, time frame, uh, relates or, you know, corresponds with you and your situation, they decided to renew their effort. They renewed their effort and their commitment to stay towards you. Um, because they realized that this was a past life, a past life connection and you guys definitely know one another. So there was some type of soul contract in your past life. Um, and I also want you to know that all of the stops and resets and stops and resets is because a lot of your behavior has been very triggering to them cancer. Um, as far as what they could have wanted with the ex, sometimes we are moving alone in a relationship and there'll be behaviors that trigger us. Nope, not dealing with that. But I think with this person, especially when I see all of this love and I'm about to read to you guys, um, I think with this person, it was more so, um, I'm not going to lie to you and don't take this the wrong way because it really is a beautiful reading, but I am here to tell you what they're not telling you. Honestly, a lot of them were holding on to the ex and they were hoping that what you wanted with them when they were not ready the ex, they wanted with the ex. Do you see how the karma works? So they wanted what you wanted with them with the ex. And the ex is their ex for a reason, right? So with that being said, when you came in, Cancer, instantly giving them what they want because they manifested you and spirit sent you in their life, but they were not, they were not ready to receive it at, I don't know what this is, at that time. So that's what I'm saying. And you have to accept the process. So this energy of the ex, it ended bad. They thought maybe that that person was for them and they were angry and they were bitter. They went through the stages of grief and then they said, okay. And then when they least expected the um, universe granted them some type of redemption, boom, and sent you in because you were able to love them. But the package was, the packaging was a little bit different. Okay. My beautiful Cancerians. And so you know, you have to understand to a person that's dealing with this type of pain and a person that is dealing with this type of trauma, um, you know, I feel like you came in talking that good talk and walking that good walk and they 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 got a little scared. Um, they were like, it sounded fake to them because how could you come in their life giving them this so quickly? And they couldn't even get this with a person they were with for seven Seven months, seven years. What's half of that? Three, three and a half years. Seven can't be divided. Seven year, a seven year connection, something with a seven. So maybe it was another cancer. Maybe it was a July born cancer. Don't get me started, guys, with me and all of my um, my stuff. So that's what I'm saying. So that's the peak of the past. I do feel like, again, your timeline was 6, 12, 18, somewhere in the 18 month period. But we will go into more of that in the extension because then I can keep going because I'm hearing a lot of what this person is feeling. Let's get started. So the spark, we have two of the two of cups, two of hearts. This particular card is the temperance card. So right off the bat, we have a behavior card. Why do we have a behavior card? Because when you came in, we have a card Everything in this energy is influenced by the temperance card. So moderation and bringing all of this love back into balance, my beautiful cancers. So that means that we're looking at the temperance, Sagittarian energy, uh, moderation, balance, or tempering ourselves to deal with the fact that this is a past life relationship. This is the Six of Cups. Um, I already told you that it was a past life relationship. Because the Ace of Wands was here, which is also strength, Leo energy. 
we have more fire energy influence in this so this is a lot of i say a recommitment to actions taking actions i don't know what this is either in the relationship so that is my six of cups that is my soulmate card we do have calling in your soulmate they called you in like i said they went through a horrible time in the past they called you in you came in giving them what they want. It was like, is this faith? What is this? You don't get what you asked for. They went through that whole thing. But now they understand, okay? I feel like you guys are deeply connected. This is similar to somebody that I did already. Not Libra, Capricorn, maybe. Who else? Is it Taurus? One of those readings where I said that you guys are still speaking. You're not an excommunicado, but maybe you were. That's my John Wick re reference, okay? Soulmate energy, past life relationship. That scared the bejesus out of them. But in the heart of the matter, we have that beautiful big ace of cups. So there's a renewal and love coming, okay? It gets so much better than this cancer. This is the heart of the matter. They have went through the storm. Um, and I'm telling you, they went through the storm with themselves and it could have been the reset, the stop reset. I, like I said, in the past 18 months, you guys have been back and forth right here, right here, tug of war for the past 18 months or somewhere in an 18 month timeline. Okay. Cause I don't know your situation. I'm just feeling it. Okay. Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So we have Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Blended messages. We have Leo, Sagittarius, and then we have Gemini, okay, um, which is our air. So we have all water, and we have fire, and we have air. Um, and then this is going to be an expression. I'm just going to let you know. Um, our king ha is here and ready. Um, he's also holding two cups. I want you to see. The two cups. So um, when I say that everything is balanced by this two of cups, which is the spark, which is the initial connection between you guys, which is the deep soul made energy. Once again, she has cups. He has cups. This is about moderation and balancing the love in those cups and doing that juggling act like you're mixing the drink. OK, and finally. What was done was done. We're going to case arrive. Whatever will be will be. OK, um, so the future is not ours to see yeah i don't know why i'm saying in case of right but what i am saying is is that i see this fool card so re stop reset but this time we're going to reset the love okay the love has been reset the love has been restored the love is here to stay do you hear me cancerian that is the fool and it doesn't matter because now they want to move forward with you how do i know that let's talk about the top of the deck energy now we have two sixes here Two sixes indicate that there is going to be an apology. So before I get into um, the apology, let me let you know what your main energy romance angels show. Because the peak of the past is clarified with romance angels. And then the top of the deck energy is clarified with romance angels. But of course, you know, you have three main cards that go with the energy up here on the board. That is heart to heart conversation. So this king is ready to talk. He's ready to talk about the love in his heart. Make it, it don't make it gender specific. You know, put it where it goes. Okay. Like Lego pieces. Okay. He's ready to talk. And like I said, they called you in. They did. After the trauma of their ex, they called in a person. Why can't I just love? Why can't I do this? And why can't I do that? And they found it. But when you first came in, it happened so fast. And let me just say, it happens like this all the time. It doesn't surprise me. What are you talking about, Mar? Then you ask for this. Well, yeah, but ain't no but. Did you ask for it? Well, yes, I, were you yearning for it? Yes, but then when it comes, you screw it up. That's just the nature of humans. And that's what happened, okay? So again, I told you there's going to be an expression. That is heart-to-heart -heart conversation is, is express your love. Um, this king is going to be expressing himself. It's going to be a heart-to-heart, -heart, and he's going to be expressing the love that he has in his heart. And what he has in his heart is this big, big old, beautiful ace of cups, okay? All right. So, it is safe for you to love is one of the other things that they um, have come up with. And this again, this is an open... Uh, open your heart 
to give and, and receive the highest energy of all. Um, they're transitioning and they want to move out of stormy waters with you and move more into calm waters. This is another trip indicator. Everybody's going on a trip. I don't know what it is, what's going on, but um, there's going to be a trip either solo until I get to the extension and see is either going to be a solo trip where they do some thinking. I've been watching for the signs, took a trip to clear my mind. This is a solo trip, pack a bag and get out of here. Yes, you're going to know all about it. It's not going to be like they're just going to disappear. Um, and when they do, um, you know, again, they are in the energy. Everything is being influenced by what? The temperance card or the connection. Okay, so boom, this is what they've come up with. We know that because they had a renewal in, in one of your resets, whether it was a six-month reset, a 12-month reset, or an 18-month re reset. When it was reset, they made, made the commitment in their behavior not to let this go, although what their mouth says didn't match. So again, this person is spontaneous. This person could have a fiery moon. They go off of their impulses, but they don't talk so much. You let me know who you're connecting with, Cancers. And I just want to spoil it for you and let you know that you got the Ace of what? Of Pentacles. This is also the World card. This is your double Aces. So you have double Aces here. Actually, triple Aces. Triple Aces in your energy. So you have an Ace and Cups. So there's going to be a brand new um, uh, um, loving beginning and an overflowing of love. There's going to be a solid, abundant beginning. And I'm telling you, if some of you guys are expecting a raise or anything that has something to do with finances, this ace is good. This is the ace you want, and this is the world. So there's going to be a cycle that's ended, a brand new reset, and this is the set that sticks. I just told Libra something similar. This time is for real, okay? This time is for real. Now, and then very soon, it's clarifying that energy, okay? And I already told you that this was a brand new passionate beginning. So within the last reset, again, whether it was six months, 12 months, or 18 months, there has been a commitment. They, they were not going to let you go, but they didn't tell you that, of course. Why would they tell you? You're the only, you I mean, you just happen to be the person they love. Why would they tell you that? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You're definitely dealing with that type. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get your blockages, and let's talk about it. So if you're going to be joining me in the extension, here is what you have to expect. I'm going to start putting this on the screen because I'm tired of saying it, guys. You are going to get all of the main energies on the board, the main five cards clarified, okay? Because I've already clarified top of the deck and bottom of the deck with the Romance Angel, so we don't need to do that again. Thank you, Spirit. We're also going to be getting thoughts, feelings, and actions by way of the Island Time Wellness card. That's going to be three, okay? Thoughts, feelings, actions. And then we're going to be sort of kind of clarifying the thoughts, feelings, and actions with an angel answer card to find out if it does. Sometimes it clarifies a, like there's three um, Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards, and then there's three angel cards. And sometimes they go... You, if you bought an extension, you know, sometimes they go hand in hand with the cards and other times it tells you yes or no, or it gives you a specific message um, as to whether you should do what your person wants to do with you. <laughs> All right, Cancer. First card out is grow. I want to expand my consciousness and awareness. Well, absolutely. They're tired of feeling and you did that. They're like, why is cancer so in tune with how they feel about me? What's so special and blah, blah, blah. They had no choice but to rise up to the occasion because you're not budging. Thank you, spirit. You're not budging. Here's that honesty. Purpose. Oh, I'm sorry. Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. I know what I'm here to do. I have no idea what this is. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, hello. Sorry. 
Mercury retrograde. So purpose. I know what I'm here to do. The person did not know. I mean, they're coming in with the trauma of a past relationship. They don't know what the heck to do. They don't know what to do. And now they know. Indecision. And that was another thing. Absolutely. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. All hands are on deck here. We have air, we have fire, we have pentacles, and we have our cups. So, yes, this person has a knack for pulling in or attracting people that doesn't serve their higher purpose. I am attracted to people who serve my higher good, and they're actually not. So you came in, like I said, that past person, they thought that that person was the all be all. Like, this is it. I'm getting married. And that person um, wasn't the person for them. That person did, wasn't patient enough with them. That person didn't love them um, the way that you came in, loving them so fast. And it just, it made their neck snap. Like, I don't understand. That's what it is. So, I'm going to leave you. Oh, my God. This is it's so many beautiful cards. Like, I'm just going to leave you with this beautiful king and this beautiful ace of cups. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Cancerians, you are top five, so you get extended this week. I'm so excited to do that for you because I know you guys like that clarification. And I like giving you the messages. So, um, what they're not telling you, well, they are gonna they want a renewal in love. So, when you see this is the best, yes, this is one of the best ones that I've done for you guys in a long time. Um, they love you. They love you very much. They're going to come forward and tell you that. You're going to see a, a change in behavior. Energy is fluid. This is a really good card because they're finally putting your love on top. And I think that's what I am going to name this. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Everybody else that wants to take it one step for, further, I'll see you in the extension. That's what I'm leaving you with. See you next week, Cancerians. Bye.